guys, welcome back to another episode of the Bad and Bougie podcast. My name is Talani Baj, aka T Baj, aka the biggest Baj, and I'm here with my co host Mo. What's up? Hey, babies. Good to be here. The yeah, goddess. I'm not gonna like, I need energy with your intro now. Come on. Ah, okay. Big welcome to the show. My name is Moe Bebe, also known as the goddess. And I'm here with the biggest badge. And yes, we doing things, you know, catching crew, okay. killing yeah. vibes. I know, that's right. And also trending. Okay. <laughs> biggest. Unprovoked. <laughs> Unprovoked. Welcome to Dirty December, guys. Yes. Oh my God. Mm. In the studio, we have a UK what celebrity mm. in the house? A real yeah. IJGB. A real I- <laughs> This is your first day to December, right? This is my first day in December. Give, give it up for Madam Joyce, y'all. Woo! Woo! Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What intro? That was so cool. Oh, thank you. I love it. I How love does it. it feel to be nice? You know, I'm so gassed. Oh, yeah? It's crazy because coming here, I've never been here, but I just felt so home. Mm-hmm. Like I remember coming out of the airport and I was like, wow, like this is so chaos. But mm. I feel like, <laughs> I, I feel like <laughs> it felt right. It felt right. It felt, right. It felt so right. 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 It was it was amazing, honestly. I'm having a good time. Oh, uh, we're so glad to have you here. Yes, yeah, so. And can I just say that we are such huge fans of your podcast. Thank you. But I'm sure you'll be seeing what Bad and Bougie podcast be doing. Yeah, no, honestly, I've been seeing you on the vlogs, even I said the vlogs, the vlogs. I've been seeing you on the internet and I'm like, yes, I love a bit of chaos. Bring mm. the chaos. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now you guys are doing amazing, man. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank so thank you. are you too. Yes, yeah, so. Give us talk talk to us about your um podcast. Yes. Oh yes, yeah, so my podcast, Cocktails and Takeaways, um, is basically i bring people onto the show and we just have conversations that you're not really supposed to have on camera but you have it anyways um and it's okay. literally uh, oversharing mm-hmm. um funny moments mm-hmm. bit of chaos mm-hmm. splash of gist okay. splash of saying things you shouldn't say and then the internet <laughs> comes to come and squeeze your bum because oh, of it like i think we're kind of used to that though you, you know that's what bad bum squeezing. <laughs> yeah just a little bit internet bum squeezing and, and mm-hmm. that's it yeah so okay. would you say you're chaotic oh yeah yeah definitely absolutely my whole life is so chaotic mm. like I, I say that word a lot mm-hmm. but i think my show i think everything that i'm doing my brand is just so out of the norm mm-hmm. and just not it's not it's not usual mm-hmm. it's not usual everyone's like what the fuck is she doing and it's like <laughs> what the fuck am i doing that's a good question but they love it huh yeah they, i mean people love it but people hate it but i guess okay. if you're not if you're not if you're not causing chaos, then mm. you're not really you're not really popping. And people, if yeah. people don't like you, or people I anger what you're saying, yeah. I agree. then you're not really doing the podcasting mm-hmm. thing right. True. So I, I can't complain, man. True, mm-hmm. true, true. So, so you would definitely agree that controversy sells. Do you know what? Can I? We should take a shot every time someone says chaotic. Because fucking Ooh. out, how many times did I say that? Oh. Like, <laughs> enough times. I said it enough times. Yeah, controversy sells. Honestly, mm. that's that's especially like. I'm not sure how it is out here, but in mm-hmm. the in the UK black culture, if you're not ruffling some feathers, they don't care mm-hmm. what they don't care what you have to say. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have to ruffle, you have to come in and say something crazy to mm-hmm. them. That's that's what people love. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so like we, well, I am. Mm-hmm. I'm sporting my natural. <laughs> <laughs> Your natural what? Hair or hair? Which one? Hair. Hair. Okay. And you are, in a sense, I've got sporting, the braids. Yes, you've got braids. So that's a bit of a natural. She's hair embraced style. Now. African culture. Yeah. Tony, so, um, I fire on natural. Your natural. This hair. is not. I'll wait till the next episode. This, this is actually coming for though. this. No, 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 no. I, would, I promise you, I'm going to look at the blonde. <laughs> I would have rocked it had I known that this was your plan. Mm. But you look good, girl. Thank you, baby. Team, <laughs> team natural hair. Natural. <laughs> natural hair. <laughs> is it hair or is it hair? But yeah, okay. <laughs> natural, whatever it is. <laughs> So it's really awesome to have you here. Um, And obviously, yes, we are talking about, you know, Desi December, um, IJGB. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? Can I just say, this IJJB word has been (laughs) killing me. (laughs) I never heard it until Hilda came onto my show like Mm -hmm. last month. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Hilda, listen, I'm going where the hoochie daddies are in Nigeria. She was like, ah, yeah, IJJB. And I said, huh? Mm -hmm. And she said, I just got Got back. back. And I was like, is that what you guys call us down there? She goes, yeah. I said, well, that can't apply to me because I ain't never been here to, to get back. So mm. I, I can't just have got back because I ain't never been here. It's my first time. Okay, so, but, but, but now you are there. Yeah, I am Now here. you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's a funny word. It's very funny. Are you single? Mm. 
I am single. So you're ready to have fun in, in, in Lagos? I mean, I'm definitely ready to see what the man them are saying mm-hmm. out here. Mm-hmm. Honestly, we're fed up in, I can't lie, in London we are fed up. Oh, oh, please, please, tell, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell tell me. me. What, what, what is making you guys fed up in London? Girl, I mean, I just feel like the, the chivalry is is dead and mm-hmm. buried mm-hmm. in London. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like the way the way the guys treat girls, because we're, we're, we're Western there, so all these Western, like, oh, you know, 50-50, Type of energy, mm. equality, equality is running London. Really running running it. The UK mm-hmm. was equality. So, in terms of <laughs> even like how a, a, a man treats a woman and stuff, mm. it, it's very, it's it's a lot more diluted, uh, diluted out there than it is here, where mm-hmm. guys have a they have a sense of what's the word uh, responsibility for the women, from mm. what I've heard, anyways. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can't lie, it's hell. Mm-hmm. It really, yeah, the guys out there are hell. Mm-hmm. Like, unless you're trying to branch out, mm-hmm. if that's the case, if you're looking for a wife, just wear, make sure you have your stiff wig. <laughs> <laughs> just have your stiff wig ready because they don't, they're not doing the 26 inch luxury Brazilian. They mm-hmm. want the stiff synthetic. Is it? Good. Yeah, so Is that's it? Good. Yeah, so bring your stiff so, wig. So do you agree with this notion that Jand you know what I mean when I say jand jand now you're like men to me. men from England the, the, yeah okay. or like or just people from England mm-hmm. so England yeah. jand is basically England yeah. and Yankees America okay. so there's this general notion that men in jand are very stingy oh god do you know what okay so if we're talking about London born and bred mm-hmm. mm. I would say yes and especially I think what it is is that guys are very apprehensive when they first meet a woman so it's like they feel like oh she a gold digger she mm-hmm. looking for me to spend and they and they have this fear when it comes to spending like you like we're still talking about <laughs> splitting dates <laughs> sis so, like the girls, the girls in that you're talking about rents the girls in america are talking about gas money yes buying cars okay, no, buying cars this money is, in a pj all these things we're still back there talking about <laughs> dinner going for dinner going going for dinner. dinner like we're still wow. Wow. Like, we are still all the way back. progressive. We are a <laughs> progressive community at the moment. Mm. But you know what? Yeah, they. I'm not gonna lie. And the thing is, I love my London boys. One thing I would say about London men is they are so attractive. But my golly gee, are they broke? Yep. Like, like, are I've they? Like, fam, fam. Like, I don't even want to care. I don't even want to care for y'all like that, you know. But my golly gee, um, I don't know where I got this word from. You know, do you know what's there? Golly gee is golly, golly gosh. My golly oh, gosh really? is there. Wait, is that a UK thing? Yeah, there's a it's London it's London uh, lingo but but yeah um and if they if they aren't and they're doing amazing things mm-hmm. um they're very they're very they hold on to their money tight like, tight <laughs> tight bum cheeks squeezed <laughs> like they ain't trying to spend nothing like but yeah I had I had the guy say are they spenders here talk to me like what's Yo, going on they're spenders oh, like, they're well, spenders. They, they can be but then they're also I feel like people are becoming a little bit more knowledgeable okay nowadays out here so maybe they're not nigerian so men take pride in spending and but you know I what agree. let me let me say let me can i can i say that can i say that's a that's a big thing a lot of times girls think that guys spend because they like them it's because they like themselves they have a big pride oh, i they're agree pri- actually they're, they're, they're I've never looked at that way yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because if, the, if, if you guys if they didn't have the pride here that here they probably wouldn't spend it's like who's mm-hmm. this guy? Mm-hmm. They, they're prideful so they're like I don't want this girl to think I'm broke I don't mm. want to, they don't mind if you like think I'm suffering in London uh, they don't mind they're like wow. they can't sit in a single bed it doesn't matter they're, sh- they're so shameless they don't mind a girl feel, they'll be looking at them thinking mm-hmm. who's this girl it's honestly I, I love how proud the men are and yeah, but regardless of too. why you're spending as long as you're spending it mm-hmm. I don't even mind mm-hmm. but in London now it's very shameful it's very hard yeah. it's hard it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. I can't lie that's real so how long have you been in in lagos i've been here for four days this is day this is day four or five okay. so how i'm is, still loading how is the experience going so far do you know what can i just say one thing i love like driving by uh-huh. is that like you know when everyone's like outside outside like mm-hmm. nigerian people be outside okay like, all the time just, no, just just standing like <laughs> just standing on the street like it, it, hustling we, no we don't see that in london where people like it, if you need to be indoors, you'll be indoors because mm. shit's cold. Mm-hmm. But on the streets, you'll just see people lingering, like lingering, hanging out in the sun, bathing and shit. And uh-huh. I'm like, fucking hell, you're not having a good time, innit? That's why I like, love Nigeria. Like, everyone is literally outside. Like, I've never seen so many people just loiter on the road. <laughs> like, it's it's so new to me and I, and I love it. Also, it's very chaotic. God, it's my first time being stuck in traffic today. Uh, uh, you I get frustrated. 
Do you know what's so funny? I, I've got ADHD, so I tend to zone out. And I okay. remember I, I, was, I was in front of a van uh-huh. and I looked down on my phone and I promise you I disappeared for about 50 minutes and I looked up and I was in the same position and I was like, oh, how? Oh, how? For Welcome 50 minutes. 50 but, you minutes do know, but you do know it's actually because of IJGBs like you. But what? Yeah. Like, That's why the traffic has also increased around I mean, this period. There's traffic on a normal day, but it has multiplied. Yes. Because there's more cars and things like that. More people. Because there are more people. <laughs> people. Yeah, more Especially people. for, well, quote unquote, they would call are you IJGBs mad? as foreigners. Are you mad? You sound no, a bit no, mad. Do you want to talk no, about no, it? No, 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 Do you want to talk about it? I ain't, I ain't mad, boo. I was, I was once in your shoes, so it's okay. <laughs> Listen, honestly, like I've been hearing a lot of um the the home girls complaining about the outside girls, but I mean, come on, guys. Like we're just, you see, when, when you're in London, we'll accommodate you in the cold. I wouldn't even yeah, come in the cold. I mean, the, the, you ain't got no option. It's always cold. I, I wouldn't <laughs> come. Actually, I've been there twice, Sha. Yeah? And I don't really go out much, yeah. No, yo, no, I like we're the outside. Heat. No, no, honestly, it's honestly, I'm loving, I'm loving the weather in mm. London right now. It's frostbite. Like, mm. I'm anyone that is listening in London, I would mm-hmm. like to say sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry. So sorry for you. Shit is shit is cold, <laughs> but yeah, the, <laughs> like, I'm loving it. Would you ever move to Nigeria? Do you know what? If if there was reason to, and obviously, I I I'm so happy that I have a show that can that can that can be moved across the world. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I was to move the show, I'd be okay with with living here. You um, sure? There's no light or sometimes there's no water. Just like yeah, that. that, that Road is bad. That kind of stunned me, you know, like I was uh-huh. just there like watching TV and, and then, then everything just shut down and mm-hmm. it's like, I'm already quite scared of the dark. Mm-hmm. So this is, not, <laughs> this is not helpful. So I'm looking around thinking what's going on and then you hear <laughs> generator. <laughs> <laughs> That's a generator. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, yeah, it's a generator. See, I, I, I asked that, I said, there's a really loud turning yeah. sound. They're like, oh no, it's a, it's a generator for the electric. And I said, wow, mm-hmm. this is fascinating. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I feel like such a tourist right now. <laughs> Are you here without family? Yeah, so um, I have my my uncles do live in Lagos, but okay. ain't nobody trying to stay with y'all. I love you, but ain't nobody trying to stay with y'all. Oh, no. like, you trying to be outside? I'm trying to be true outside. though. Free, free. <laughs> do you see the miniscat I'm wearing? I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear that chat. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Why is your breast that? Why is your breast right. out? Please, please, please. That's please, real, please. yo. Make sure you don't put any pictures on WhatsApp. That's how you make sure. Oh my sure God, yes. Yes. seriously. Do you put pictures on WhatsApp? Do you know what? I think WhatsApp is no, a no, Nigerian no. thing. You guys use WhatsApp like social media, right? Well, some people do, but I personally I mean. don't. I personally don't, but I know that there's definitely, I'm sure that these people, yeah, they, 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 you, you, you guys do. Have that story, uh, you better put that story. You better put us on your, on your WhatsApp. <laughs> see them, see them. Yes, yeah, not that's, them. That's... <laughs> That's like the over 35s. That's the, that's what they, that's what that's what wow. they're like. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm gonna be 35 next year, darling. So, don't. And when you're don't, over 35, you also be using WhatsApp. No, 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 no. I won't. The WhatsApp is loaded for you. I won't. I won't. I won't move it to WhatsApp. No, 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 no. The WhatsApp is loaded for you. They'll just they'll even give you a new friend with just WhatsApp. But you know what? You're going to equally age as me, like, just the same way. Let me you're laugh. You're going to get to 35. I got nine so years. Maybe, let, me, let me laugh, innit? So, so, <laughs> maybe, so, so, maybe, so when you get to 35, I'm going to watch out and see if you are on WhatsApp. No, yeah, when I, when I get there, let's load it up. Like, well, I'm, not, I'm not quite there yet. But wait, let's, let's, let's revisit this in 10 years' time. You know what I mean? Let's revisit this in 10 years' time. That's okay, that's okay. I've got, ten years, I've got 10 years more experience. No, honestly, okay. no, honestly, I do. Okay. I, I love You've got that. a lot that you can learn from me. No, oh, a thousand percent. Honestly, I'll be honest. I can't wait to hit to hit thirties, I think thirties. I, I swear wait. to God, thirties is the new. What 20s. do you mean you can't wait? Are you not there yet? Who is there? No, no. Yeah, come on, come on, buddy, Joe. Me, I can't wait till I turn thirty. You. Do you know who's a made me more years excited? Than I Why are you me? Please, I beg, my no, friend. Thirties is the new twenties. Thirties is twenties yes, with money. Is what I heard. Yes, mm. Jackie Ina has made me so excited for my thirties because. Mm. And the thing is, yeah, I. You know the girls say they wear the bobas. Listen, wait, boo boos, the boo boos. Yeah, oh, yes. you said boo boos. <laughs> I cannot wait for my rich African auntie flex. Are you dumb? Oh, that's what I, oh my god! This is get me so, that's what I'm so excited about in my thirties, wearing the bo- the boo boos, mm-hmm. and having the rich. Hello, hello, auntie. Hello, my cat. How are you? <laughs> I'm gas. I'm gas. Now big up all the older ladies and that. You know what I mean? There's actually a vibe that comes with. An older woman, so classy. Me. You know how they always say, like, you know, when when an older woman is with a younger man, it's like he's having like apple pie, while when he's with a younger woman, he's like having pizza. Girl, I, I believe that. That's so now what you it just is. Come I, I sent you all this love, and now you've come to hit me back with they call me pizza. 
Thank you. That's fair. That's I'm just saying. Saying. Apple pie, pizza. No. Apple pie. Wow. Like actual baked nice pie <laughs> and then pizza. Pizza's yes. for everybody. I'll but, pick pizza over but, apple pie, Sha. Nah, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick apple pie yeah, like, any I day. Like pizza. There's Deep something pizza. more like mature, something that's just more tasteful. There's like actual history behind it. Come on. Older, so any we are day. just pizza. Any any toppings in particular? Just <laughs> tomato, or have we got it? Yes, we got it. No, it's just that? regular normal. Yeah, just, just a margarita, margarita pizza. pizza. Just pizza. normal Thank pizza. You. <laughs> I come here to be embarrassed. Thank you very much. Okay, now, now in all honesty, whenever people are sort of talking about like you know IJGBs coming back, there I think I saw this tweet where someone said that they literally need about I'm not sure if it was was it about eight thousand pounds or so. Or yeah, well, well, was, am I correct? Also, which basically means like literally about seven million naira mm-hmm. okay. to be able to come out here during dirty December and ball. Are you? Are they a, a man or a woman? I was about to say that that applies to men. Well, I guess that applies Not to women. Men. Yeah, <clears throat> but then also as a woman coming from that typical culture where you guys are doing fifty fifty, I know for sure you definitely came to Nigeria with some money. Yeah, I exactly. did. I definitely. I'm, I, I, so would you say that's the money you? came with was within that budget to be honest when i spoke with when i spoke to my friends they said hello see your bomb don't bring any money period <laughs> yes I said, okay game i love you that you will spend no money <laughs> I said, they told me they said don't you lift they're looking at me thinking what you what? so i already i already heard i like that mm. when i was in the bomba club okay. i don't even try that but i think but yeah, it's go good to have vex money though yeah so vex money when, is you know what vex money is oh talk to me when you're pissed off like fuck it i'm gonna do it myself you need to have that Independent money. Independent woman money. Yes. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. You, you, know, you, know, you know you're not going to spend it, but just in case. Just in case. Have your money. Not angry money. It's called, I feel it's that called vex money. <laughs> yeah, it's called vex money. Like, I'm angry because you don't want to suss out my bill. Don't I worry. I'll suss out my own bill. <laughs> okay, guys. I have a question for you ladies. Yes. So, okay. So, we're in... We're in the club, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or in fact, we're, actually, no, we've walked past the mall and there's a guy with you. I like you. You're so hot. You're so cute. Look at your smile, whatever, whatever. How do you, do you ask them for the money or do you just assume they're going to buy it? Like, how does that work? Hmm. In here, like, it's a random guy that sees me in the mall. No, oh, no, I know him. No, he knows you've been. He's been touching you since. Da, da, so da, we da, went da. to the mall together. Yeah, we now went to the mall. Or you passed the mall. You went to dinner and then you passed. You're in the mall lunch. Uh-huh. And you now pass the mall. You uh-huh. now see a shoe that you like. Yeah. Oh hey babe, we're walking past the mirror. Be. Oh hey babe. Oh my god, this looks nice. Let's go try it on. I'm dragging him inside. Hi, size ten, please. They put it on my leg. I'm a size ten, by the way. Anybody else? Buy me shoe, size ten or forty one. <laughs> I put it on. Babe, how does this look on my feet? Now you're going to give me the compliments. I'm going to ask you, what do you think about it? Oh, it looks nice on you. Babe, I would really like to get his. What do you think? Clearly, you don't want to look like a broke man, do you? You're going to get it. I'm very audacious. I guess we learned something. I'm very audacious. I'm taking notes. I'm very audacious. Me, I'm learning. You have to manipulate them into getting what you want. You ate that. You ate that. You got. It's literally. You did it sexily, or you didn't do like. Can you buy me? No. Yeah, you didn't go straight for it. You didn't go straight for the jugular. You said it softly. Yes, you gotta be. You took him on a journey. Yes. Took him in the source. Men like like that (laughs) femininity. Do you get what? You gotta like. What do you think? Stroke their ego a little. Stroke it. Do you know what I will say? Nigerian women have such an audacious attitude which i so love Mm -hmm. because in the uk women are generally very afraid to ask for what they want Mm. and not just in terms of materialistic things what they even want out the relationship we that's why going with the flow will kill us yeah situationship situationship will will kill us because women are very much we're we're not so abrasive to be like this is what i want this is how i want things Mm -hmm. i would like this Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's it's very very foreign out there so hearing that i i fucking love it but i didn't Mm. always know that though in america i carried miss independent on my head i wanted to prove a point imagine me going on dates and i'm just bragging about my own achievement achievements the man is okay you can't do yourself it was <laughs> it was when i moved to nigeria that other miss independent threw it to the beam men okay. are happy to help you yeah. bro i can have i can have all the accomplishment accomplishments in the world i'm not bringing that to the dates in fact i'll act like i don't actually mind do you get and men are just willing to invest i will have intellectual conversations here and there and you'll be willing to invest in my business but being dependent on a man is still attractive in this country no yeah. matter how they say you go the guy they still like that shit you yeah. know well, you, that's, you, uh, that's fair yeah. yeah i disagree though Talk okay to. let's go i personally feel that yes 
men, yes, they, they do love their egos to be stroked and whatnot, but there's also this sort of like pride that, at least for me, that I feel when at least I've got my own. I don't like, yes, you can help me out, yeah. but... I don't want You're to totally rely yeah. on you. So that's why I'm that person that will carry Why Vex is he money. now in your life? I will carry Vex money no matter what. I don't care. If you, I don't care. I will still carry Vex money. Will you spend it if you have a man in your life? I may not spend it because he's willing to spend it. Do you get what I mean? But mm-hmm. I will still carry Vex money because yeah. I don't like men to take me for an idiot. <laughs> I will always have Vex money. I don't like that. I don't go spend them. If your man is in my life. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I always say like, if uh, that's why I've been, I've been single because if, if you're not going to add addition to my life, why are you, why are you even yes. here? Like, I can't, Facts. I can't be And that's also the same reason why I, yeah. I do agree. I, I am actually the same single. Like, I don't want to be an independent babe to anymore me. to sue me. I'm Thank tired. Thank you. Please rest. I'm it's tired. time for us to rest. Please. Like, I'm really, I'm really in my feminine dependent yeah. era. Okay. Mm-hmm. You'll yeah. be dating, like, like I said, you'll be talking to a guy Oh, yeah, this is what I've done. This is what I've done. Next thing you know, he's calling you boss lady. Uh, turn off. <laughs> Don't you dare. Um, one, one way you caught me all by sugar bobby. I no. want to oh. oh, my <laughs> madam. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's not, no, 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 that's not what I'm here for. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really trying to definitely be a lot more submissive one yeah. and mm-hmm. two mm. just allow a man to be, be a, man. a man i like that and, and that's it i'm so even if i have it god is good i do have it I, i'm not sick i'm kapooch but yes. i do i do i do I agree that in general that men men actually do become comfortable when yeah. they realize that you can handle it yes yeah. i do agree you gotta pretend like you can't do it you can't handle it i'm sorry I do That's agree. My baby's, my baby's is fucking true. Ooh. I'm not wearing any bra. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I noticed something. Yes, a very sister. striking feature of yours. God. A lot of people would refer to them as DSLs. 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 What is that? DSL. <laughs> <laughs> What's what? Dick sucking lips. <laughs> How many people have called you that? Do you know what? Yes. Since I was like 16, like they, they, I didn't even know what it was and I was barely sucking dick then. Maybe. <laughs> I was barely. I was barely. Was barely. I was barely. <laughs> so does that mean that you were? I lost maybe my just like once or twice. I lost my virginity when I was 15. So maybe that, oh. one, maybe that one small penis. Pe- maybe that one small penis. Wow. But do you know what I did realize? That one small penis. Well, <laughs> people talk about um, dick sucking lip, but funny enough, this is one thing I realized in my new set because my, my camera's face like this. Mm-hmm. And as I was talking, I fucking realized my mouth is fucking Fucking wide as shit. Yes, girl. <laughs> I know this. I know this. I never caught that. And I was like, my mouth is wide, bro. Like it really does fucking. That's a quite a job scare, isn't it? But I never realized that. But yeah, I've been I've been called dick sucking lips for a while. And mm-hmm. then, again, at one point in my life, big lips wasn't cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like people used to bully me. They used to call me bubble gum mm-hmm. lips, chewing mm-hmm. gum lips. But now, like, if you see, like, it's it's the thing. Thing. people be getting yeah. like fellas to have lips like yours. Yeah. And, you know? and the man, the, the same man them that were bullying me, they're like, what? What are you saying? Like, now they're the same man them that want those lips. <laughs> Like now, yeah, now, 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 the, now the boys are now the boys are saying other things. But other things. Just, I'm saying other things. <laughs> but I love that so, evolution. So I know that Grace Ajilere is your sister, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When are we going mm. to be seeing some fire sister content online? Mm-hmm. Funny enough, she's loading. Oh my god! Can I just say I I fucking love my sister, and a lot of people don't know that mm-hmm. she's my sister. Mm-hmm. But I I think it was kind of a pride thing. I think okay. Because when I came into the scene, I wanted to do it on my own yeah mm-hmm. i wanted to be like oh my god like i have an i have a sister who is very well established in yeah. the in the industry and i didn't want to come in and be grace's sister okay yeah so that's fair i i kept it quiet kept it to myself and i guess again it was just the pride thing of now i've come into this space i've come mm-hmm. into this space as me okay as joyce your not identity as grace Agilori's sister. sister but honestly mm-hmm. she's loaded funny enough i spoke she's come first of all she's coming to nigeria soon which mm-hmm. i'm very excited to see okay her. she needs to come on the show <laughs> i'm very gassed to see her and two um yeah um she's got a new project coming out in january oh i don't know if i'm allowed to say that but she's got some new things coming out in january um so she's coming so she will be talking about that and really breaking it down and chopping it up but honestly mm-hmm. i'm 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 so honored to have an OG mm. um, as a sister, and she's yeah. somebody that I- inspired my show, and I would say inspired my personality. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So yeah, man, big up fucking my sister and that bum buckler. Yeah. Big up Grace. Big up Grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Now you know with um IJGBs, I don't know. Like the, I I didn't necessarily, but then again, you, you're cool. So I feel like I can have this conversation with yeah. you. Yeah. But there seems to be a lot of talk about how, like I did t- um touch on about how a lot of the females, especially coming in from England, mm-hmm. are very sexually frustrated, mm-hmm. and a lot of them are looking to get their kitty cats wet oh yeah. honestly this i swear Whoa. to you I, so I, I, are you I, planning on are you joining those swivel i don't i'll be honest i don't do casual sex i'm okay. I'm, I'm a libra i'm a lover girl like i need oh, to God, i'm a libra too I'm a libra. Libra. What you I'm a September. I'm a September. Oh, late September. I'm a September 30th. Oh, but listen, okay. I have to have emotional connection to you to want to be intimate with you. Mm. That's yeah. me. Yeah. But what I would say is, I haven't heard about this. But let me say ah, something. What? Somebody was talking about how that we should be using prep. Did you guys see that? Was it Aloni that said that? Somebody said that we should be using Don't prep imagine. now. All these okay. IJGBs need to come in and start using prep. You know what prep is, right? What's prep? No, uh, prep is basically know. this pill that you use if you've had unprotected sex it's literally supposed to be for rape victims oh wow so that you don't get hiv but because i there's this influx of ijgbs uh-huh. coming in uh-huh. this guy was advising that you have to be on prep because a lot of us let's be real are not you know prep. having sexual intercourse with protection hmm. i mean that's why you see people that you like in it so that, you know, I mean, who said that? No, you wear a condom. Wear a condom, seriously. Yes, wear seriously, a condom. Seriously, wear a condom, seriously. But what I would, to be honest, I actually, speaking of, I had what the What do opposite. you mean? Stop looking at me. Are you in my bedroom with me? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I had the opposite of what you're saying. Mm. I heard that you should, like, if you come to Nigeria, don't have sex mm. because of HIV and things. Like, apparently, mm. I heard that don't have sex is, the, is what I heard. But what I will say I mean, is, I think what it is, is that, and again, it's, it's holiday sex generally. Mm-hmm. Mm. If you want to do prostitution <laughs> in a different country, <laughs> it who's would, gonna know? Who's they gonna know? never gonna know, they honey. Never gonna know. <laughs> It will not. I mean, they think it won't follow you back to London, <laughs> and I think that's every holiday when you go abroad. Yes. You, what stays in Lagos? What stays in Lagos? Stays in Lagos. Stays Lagos. Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do all that in London because listen, you've you've slept with this one, and next thing you know, they're boys. Mm. Done. Jesus. But in Lagos, you can really release yourself. And, exactly. And, 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 if last last it comes back, that means it's not your destiny to be sleeping around. Just, mm. <laughs> just stop it. Is it not your destiny? It's not your destiny. Like, just leave it. But yeah, it, it happens on every holiday. But again, I'm not, I'm not, re- I'm not really for that. I love, I love intimacy. I love, mm. I love having sex. But I love having sex with people I like. But can I just wait, wait, wait? Fair. I have a question because I, 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 I don't understand, ca- not casual sex, but like one night stands. Do they actually bank? Because I haven't, I can't imagine just fuck meeting someone, fucking them, and it being like, yeah, I had the time. That was so sick. Have you had a one night stand before? I've had a one night stand once and I hated it. I was like, what the hell is this? The guy was just trying to get his nut. It was just a fucking tool. <laughs> so it wasn't sensual. It was what? Oh my God. It, was just, it wasn't sensual. It wasn't. It was boom, 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 boom. Oh, he fucked you. Yeah, but a guy that doesn't know you or doesn't have any emotional True. connection. That's and, most likely how he yeah. would fuck you. Why would, why would his intentions be, let me please this woman. Bitch, let me get my nut and dip. No, like, but there's some people that do please. Not that I'm speaking for Have you experience. had a one night stand for one night more? stand? Why are you people asking me these? How was questions? your experience on your one night stand? What do you dare answer you? <laughs> I, I know you've had this. Oh, everyone's what do you mean you know? I know. What do you know? How do you know? I don't know, but I know. They're quite conservative here, aren't they? Quite conservative. Yeah, so how was the one night stand? How do you know that one night stand? I know one night stand. Mo, I know that you had it. So you have done me how it went. I've had. I've had some mind-blowing one-night stands. Really? Yeah. Did you guys talk the next and day? I feel like what it is, in all honesty, is the fact that I don't... I, maybe it's just me, mm-hmm. but I don't... like. I'm a very emotional person. Talk your shit. So I'm always looking for situations where I don't need to be emotionally okay. invested. Okay. So I... 
would rather that than I'm actually with someone that I like. I, obviously, I like being with someone that I like, mm-hmm. and you know, and it's a continuous thing. Yeah. But that just gives rooms for see finish. You know what see finish is? No. Ah, see finish. It literally just means what it, like how it sounds. Like they have seen you finish. They know you. They know they the know nooks you. and crannies of, of everything. Yeah, not as valuable anymore. You. You're no longer as valuable because you All don't right. see me finish. You have you have slept with me more than. Five times they've so seen your bum crack, crack. they've uh-huh. seen everything. Uh-huh. Okay, That's cool. finish. But one I stand, right. I'm putting my best foot forward Ooh, because okay. I know that I'm not gonna see you again. So let's let's do it. Not even a thanks for the D the next day. No, that's what this. That just that just creates said, more room for more complications. Girl, I'm but such there's, an emotional there's person, same. Yeah. There's nothing like essential music Deep trust me what i'm saying is i agree with you i love it i love yeah. the emotional but then i love it too much and the kind of person that i am when i'm emotional i am super emotional yeah me too do you know what i mean so i would me rather too. i would rather just not be and i love sex so mm-hmm. i'm not going to have sex until i'm ready to be emotionally invested mm-hmm. that's me like if i'm not I, but that but that's not my toxic trait is i'm very emotionally invested very quickly like give me two but weeks then, but then when give you give but then weeks. when you give that to the wrong person then you end up being constantly heartbroken yeah i, I am constantly heartbroken my goodness is it my toxic trait so at least maybe in a way i'm still enjoying sex but i'm not hurting hurting myself. yourself yeah yeah i guess it's a good coping mm-hmm. mechanism but i've tried i've tried the one that's dancing <laughs> she's so looking at she's like saying, oh, wow, love, okay. my co-host okay <laughs> Nah. Who's I'm the bad it. one, really? You the bad one, girl. I think you're the bad one. Ah, in this I'm, episode, <laughs> you're the bad I'll one. I'll be honest. She I'm actually left. One. She left you to hang. See, she kept, she, she kept her own one quiet. She wasn't listening to you. Do you know something? T bad. T bad. She, 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 she left you to cook. T bad claims she's the bad one, but she really she isn't. She watched you. She said hang. She really isn't the bad it's one. You know me. That's gonna open my pie today. You gonna open my pie for you? I go open up, but this episode, I don't pushing. She left it to me. Oh my god. All no. right, so what about parties? Have you gone to any parties just you know yet? I know I'm, you've been here for about four days. I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what's going on. We're going out tonight. They're coming out with that us. There was something at a, at a club tonight. Am They're coming out with us. I don't come through. That's not a good invite. Last week, what do you want, what do you want to say there last week? Joyce, I would love for you to attend. What do you mean you could come through? That's why you give people so much they want to come, mate. To be but, honest, Tony doesn't really know how to like. I would choose your mouth. I would choose your mouth. Tony doesn't really know how to like, you know, sweet talk you. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very direct. She's very direct. But hey, Joy, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to Lagos. Yes. If you would like to party with us tonight, yes, come to back door. Yes, okay. okay. Yeah, back door. Is that better? It's called back door. Back door. No, starts at one a.m. Oh, one night. See, this is a thing that's fucking with yeah. you guys. <laughs> this is what a thing. thing that's See, the clubs close at like three in what England. The hell, they close at like three. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell? One a.m. One a.m. I'm click click clocking back to my house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, like apparently you guys party till like nine a.m. Yeah. in the morning. And yeah. Nine is so nine true. is even no nine is even smaller. I've nine seen people. I've seen people leave the club at eleven. Uh, like, I know when people are going to work, they're leaving, they're leaving Quillox. Maybe that's I was going to say, maybe that Quillox. It's Quillox now. No, 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 Quillox now. No, even on not against, not, not even with that. They leave at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. in those days, people used to leave <laughs> Quillox at 11 a.m. Yeah, especially during this IJGB times or this like Desi December. 11 a.m. <laughs> uh, or oh, they're leaving the club. I don't know if I have the stamina, you know. Don't worry, darling, you will. Should I say why? Because you're on holiday. Okay, cool. Yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Maybe and the alcohol here, by the way, is different. I'm not sure if it's if it's alcohol engine oil. Maybe uh, because I agree. <laughs> no, I personally think it is. I had half. I a think Azul is petrol. Fuck. Mm. I think it is. I actually don't like the taste of Azul. Do you like I the taste Azul of Azul? I don't know what Azul is. Oh! Who you order got, Azul? You got no. I'm tonight. You've never What's heard that? of You're who order know Azul about it tonight. What is that? You know? <gasps> is it rum? It's tequila. It's a tequila. Yeah. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm surprised. Wait, is it Azul in that bottle? The one's the, the white and blue one. that yellow. white and blue one. Oh, uh, the one at the bottle pop has it. Hey. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. no, 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 that song. I got it. I That's got the Google first time I've ever heard the name, but I always see the boys on the table and they have this white thing with the blue one yes. and, the, and the fancy mm-hmm. name. Mm-hmm. It has like the bell thing that you can like hit oh, it. Yeah, and... yeah, I know that. Do you know what? I swear to God, for a very long time, I thought that that was just like a rebrand of Casamigos, but it's okay. I don't know. It's okay. I it's still drink Azul. it though. Yeah. I still, I still it drink it. Fucked up so much. It I really still drink does. it. Okay, Every time I have drank Azul, I've woken up the next day and I've not remembered anything that's happened. 
Mm, I always remember everything. Yeah, I, I don't had, remember my as well. I've never had that. Don't give me as well. I always remember. Ah, oh God, I'm just, I'm just listening as one of my secrets. Why oh not? God. Continue. I'm not drinking. Watch me continue. Tell, tell, us, tell us more <laughs> now. <laughs> no, you tell us it's more. It's dirty December. It's dirty December. Tell me what you want to know. I will tell you. <laughs> this December is looking real dirty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Very, very very dirty. Dirty. But I do feel like I, I have outgrown dirty December though. Me too. You okay. know, and I feel it's yeah. because like we live here. Yeah. You know, like I've been living here for about like what eleven years now. So like mine is five years. It's like dirty mm-hmm. December is It's not dirty like we've that. We've been doing it for the past eleven years. For so. ev- every day. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I'm I'm very used to it, but then I, I always love to see you know IJG new faces, in. yeah, and especially people like you who like it's like your first time. Yeah. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. What's your what's your take? So it's, it's it's quite nice, and I want to see how 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 your take will be in January. Honestly, I'm gonna do I'll probably do a recap on my show in January and just mm. and just have a proper debrief. But I think it's new stages. I haven't been partying yet. I haven't seen the nightlife. I mm-hmm. haven't been to Obi's house, which everyone's shouting about. Mm. Um, so I'm I'm very very excited to see to see every element. But yeah, so far so good. Amazing. Mm-hmm. How long are you here for? I'm here till uh, mid January, so I'm Ooh, here. I'm here all it's of for winter. A long time, oh. All of winter, I'm out of here. I said I can't deal with the winter. Uh huh. I can't deal with the winter in London. So let me let me step into the scene and have a hot one. And again, uh, everybody's out of office for Christmas. Like mm-hmm. in the UK, Christmas time they don't play with Christmas. No, they don't. They don't play with Shops, Christmas. Nothing is mm-hmm. open. Out of office, everybody mm-hmm. out of office. So I knew like work was work in terms of the, th- the things I do outside of the show were going to be quiet. Yeah. So I was like, this is the perfect time to come to come and have a good time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you. Girl, I'm happy for me too. So what do you think about long distance relationships? <laughs> no. Do you think you could date a Nigerian guy while you're in England? I mean, if he's someone that has the means to be flying me up and down, then no. Because So he has to be a rich guy? I mean, yeah. I think what it is, I'm a bit of an attention seeker. I know, not a bit, a lot. God, I need attention. <laughs> I, I need, like a self-aware queen. Yeah I'm, a, yeah, I'm an attention seeker. I like to be around the guy that I'm with I like to spend yeah, time with that's you me too. I like dates I like phone calls that's I want me to be too. good to you I mm-hmm. want to sniff your nostril Ooh, I okay. want to be in your space that, that's me so I think that kind of long distance stuff will really frust- really frustrate me I want to mm. I want to fuck you all the time okay. like I'm that type of person like once I that's like me, someone yeah. I'm trying to be in your skin yo mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> especially at the beginning and um, yeah long distance wouldn't work for me at mm. all it wouldn't work for me at all Okay. Even if you were to meet a generous, rich guy right now in Nigeria and I he wants to be in a relationship with you and you're going back to London, how is that going to work? It will, gonna... fu- it will frustrate us. Again, we have to we have to be able to like fly in, fly out, fly in, fly mm-hmm. out type of a thing. Like, And again, yeah. I'm such a lover girl for someone that I really fuck with. I would do that. I would do the six hour on the plane. Mm. Like I would do the heat throw. Like I as will, long as he provides for it, though. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the beginning, yeah. You I wouldn't pay for the ticket to come the, to Nigeria. I mean, at the at the beginning, I would like to see a man's effort. Again, I well, we should pay. I would no, but to it be, can to be, be fair. A, but British babes pay. No, I would. Do you know what? It's After a fact, while, British babes pay. Well, that's what they're used to. Share. Yes, that's what they're used to. Can I just say, at the beginning, I do like to see a man's effort, but I am very more than happy to spoil my man. Mm. Very yeah, happy I to spoil my man to, to to fly to fly a guy out and to to mm. buy him this and buy him that. But I think at the beginning stages, the first two months I need to gauge what you're on in it yeah. I need to see if you're worth it mm-hmm. If I'm not spending a pee in the first two months okay. after that oh yeah nice game well, now we're going to be having competition who can't spend the most money I like that <laughs> so, yeah. I spend the most yeah. money yeah. I like that so, so, so since you've been around for like four to five days now mm-hmm. and based on all the things that you've heard about Lagos big boys are you open to falling in love with a Lagos big boy or are you open to a relationship? Yeah, I'm open. Do you know what it is? Uh, even this year recently, I've, I dated my first ever Nigerian Nigerian boy that is from here. Okay. And, I thought, and, and and it was a very, very good experience. Mm. And um, I think, do you know what it is? Yeah, can I keep it a buck? You keep see, it a buck. I feel like, and I was having this conversation back in London, like a lot of the girlies, like <laughs> when you have an accent and I don't know if it's conditioned like, and you're a man, you automatically think they're uncles. Mm. Like you just you just have this like mindset that uh, this one is the uncle because I don't know they don't really like the accent 
But mm. I, I, I love it. Mm-hmm. I, I, I fucking love it. But mm. in the London, the London ones are a bit weird. Unless they have money as well. We'll just cancel. We'll just cancel that one out their brain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's the first time I've ever dated someone with an accent, proper mm. Nigerian from here. Mm-hmm. And I had the most amazing time. Um, and I think that it's not so it's not so different from dating a UK boy in the sense of they get this, the banton, they get the, um, like you guys can gen in personality, but I also do love the chivalry that comes with it. Yes. And they are absolutely gentlemen and they're willing to look after the girl, mm. the girl that they're with. Yeah. And, um, they're very, very hardworking men and they're, they're very in their moral. Yeah. But mm. bringing it back to traditional guys, which mm. I think I've also discovered I really, really like. Mm. So yeah, I'm definitely open to dating a Lagos boy. I'm definitely open to dating somebody from here and I'm falling in love because I really do feel like I'm I'm a lot more intertwined in the personality than I thought I was. Am I going on a rant Didn't you hear that you apparently you can't find love in Lagos there? Have you, haven't you heard that? Don't be too naive. Shall let me just drop that one. So yeah. if I'm not gonna let find, me apparently you can't find love in this Lagos. Don't be too naive. So what am I gonna find? Ah, so Situationships and, 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 and one leg what? in, one, one leg, leg in, what are we? That's what you want. One leg in, one leg out. <laughs> hey, uh, he, he didn't want to give you a relationship. My idea. Nah, I, do you know what? Yeah, we were such a. Again, I think. <sighs> <laughs> One leg in, one leg. One Even leg your boo get leg. a boo. Uh, yeah, that one. That like one. That's, like, like, that's Lagos for real, um, baby. Yeah, like. it was. It was very much blood. That relationship was very much bloodlines. It was. Mm. It was very comf. I was okay. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Was it bloodlines or was I delusional? That's a good question because I feel like we did have the discussion at the beginning. Mm. <laughs> You know, what? women actually do have this discussion. Oh, you know, we actually tend, like, we actually tend to have this discussion. Uh, and well, at the very beginning, at the beginning, oh, so he thought that he didn't know our relationship from the beginning. He t- he didn't he didn't explicitly say that, but he, he suggested was, it. He said, "Oh, do you know what? You uh, you know what? Like, uh, you know, I just came out of a relationship. Oh, and I just said it. And I just and I said." And the thing is, I just, I didn't think of it as anything because at the time we hadn't really, you know, done anything. So yeah. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. And I was like, I am. <laughs> He's like, what? And then, see, this is, this is what's spinning me because it's like, you say things like that. Like, how are you, how are you telling me you don't want something serious or you're saying, ah, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just going with the flow, seeing how it goes. I'm just, it takes me time. And then you're doing all these nice things. We're speaking every day. You're giving me bo- when, when I mean boyfriend dick, hmm. as in why? Like if you don't if you don't want me, why are you looking into my soul? Like why, no. you, why are you gazing at me, bro? Why are you your, gazing? Close your eyes. eyes. <laughs> if you, close your eyes, my G. Like close your eyes. Like, close your eyes. Your head, so your head giving me boyfriend dick. Mm-hmm. Like it, it just honestly, and again, I think as women, sometimes we we, we think we're the ones that's gonna change their mind. Mm-hmm. And I'm a bit, yeah. I'm a bit cocky. I'm like, yeah, those other fucking scantily bitches, they ain't got nothing on me. Let me see. I'm different. Head. I'm different. Yeah. And um, I I thought that, and and I think I could feel myself falling. But I mm. think what one thing I love, one thing I love about constantly being heartbroken is that you kind of easily detach after you 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 fall in and fall out very quickly. <sighs> oh, more, that's so toxic. Yeah, I know it's so toxic. I fall in and fall out so quickly. So I think. When I kind of had my rude awakening and I was like, Joyce, you're being delusional, one. Mm. And two, if you continuously emotionally invest into this, it's just going to, you're just going to end up in the gulag. Mm. So I literally one See day- See why I don't emotionally I invest? I'm legit like you. Gee. Yeah, and I'll just disappear. Mm. My toxic thing is I'll just, I'll just cut it off. I'll be like, oh my God, yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. I want you to be my boyfriend. And then I'll just run away. I disappear. I just disappear. Yeah. yeah. So mm. yeah, but that, that, that was a very interesting experience. But I think generally learning the style of how a, how a Nigerian boy operates was very was a great experience so mm-hmm. so do, do you know what I totally agree with what you said like mm-hmm. you know I do agree that Nigerian guys do this thing where mm-hmm. you know they'll give you that boyfriend dick they'll mm-hmm. give you all that chivalry mm-hmm. you know and then they're the way you not ask the the very famous question what, what are, are we? we it becomes a problem I actually hate that question I never ask it though that the pride in me would never let me no, ask no, him no, no, what no, are no, we no, ask it. No. fair enough to be honest, I agree too. I also don't ask that yeah, question. Yeah, don't ask such stupid questions. At least I in your mind, you feel <laughs> you feel question. like you said you feel like you know he's looking into your soul. You mm. feel like he's actually like the same way you are investing is the same way maybe you may think he also is investing. Uh-huh. But girl, let me let you in on something. <laughs> <laughs> the same way.
want you to feel that that man is investing in you, my darling. He's investing in Tolani and he's also investing in me. Wow. In this Lagos. He's also investing in my beautiful producer over there. In he's youth. also investing. He so could be investing. Some of them could also be investing in the men too. <laughs> That's how messed up it is, though. That's why they call it Dirty December. It is called Dirty December for a reason. Mm -hmm. That that is sometimes, you know, honestly, and that's also why I don't really look at Dirty December as a big deal because I feel like what happens in Dirty December is actually what happens throughout the year. Throughout the year, Mm. it's just the only difference is IJGBs have come in to now just chop all the options to just chop all the lies that already is going on. I do think that IJ. GB babes are very naive. Yes. So yeah, it's good agreed. for you to I have agree. a homegrown Nigerian or Lagos friend. I agree. That yeah. can give you the tea. Like, like no, no, that nigga. <laughs> stay away from him. Stay away from this him. This one, one give you the rundown. Yeah, very I feel important. like we are very easily misled. And yeah. I feel like one thing about the, the guys here, they, they're very good at lying. They oh. can't really, they can't really. And to be see, honest, yeah. let's be also very honest. I also feel that a lot of Nigerian guys in general tend to like the accents foreign and new. As in, Quote unquote. So they like that the fact, oh, yeah, you're from England. So that they can do that nonsense mm-hmm. and get away with it. Because mm-hmm. they know that they cannot do that nonsense to me on Talani because why? <laughs> we will catch them. Yeah. But you, January, you have gone back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now. So that's why they will just move Fuck. mad Fuck. with you. Yeah. Do whatever they want to do real quick. Mm-hmm. And at least by January, you don't return back yeah. to base. Perks. Do you know what? I'm being educated. Listen, I'm, I I feel like every time I talk to a guy, I'm just going to be sending you their profiles. Yes, mm. please do. Just let me send I know, to be honest, that's the best thing to do. I think more will know more than me. I was going to say I'd be knowing, but I feel like more will know more than me. She I'm say, a this box. Tiny, why do you Ex- always make it seem like I'm some OG in these streets? Are you an OG? <laughs> please claim your title, my friend. Are you not an OG? I don't understand. I better go. No, I'm 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 twist, am I not 21? Come on. With this 31 year old lady. Oh, my shoe. <laughs> this baby lady is at this one. I'm not that one. Eh? <laughs> Don't give me your age. No, they put your age on me, I beg. I beg go. <laughs> so, what what are your plans, like, you know, for the rest of, you know, this period? Honestly, no plans. I'm here for the vibe. When I mean I'm here for the vibe, there's no itinerary. Uh, I'm, I'm going as I'm coming and I'm mm-hmm. coming as I'm going. Mm-hmm. So, whatever my day, week looks like, I'm down for whatever. If somebody calls me Joyce and there's something, yeah, last minute. Let's go. I'm outside. I've got the hoochie mama outfits I've packed. Okay. Have you been to the beach yet? I haven't been to the beach yet. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm really looking for the people... I, people who are outside and I'm yet to find the girls who are yeah like okay. we are outside so would you say like you're more of like a girly girl oh I'm a girl's girl definitely yeah, girl. Girl. yeah the I, girl's girl I mean I'm a, I'm a girl's girl I you're love not the one ladies. of like you're not like a, a guy's girl oh more of a girl's girl or more of a guy's you girl know what? I would say both I would say there's a lot of the lot of the friends that I have are very much like me I do have a lot of guy friends mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. I have a lot to put us mm, I probably have more guy friends than I yes. do girlfriends but I love the girls because guess what when you go to the club with the with your boys it's fun because they're the ones paying for the bottles yes and stuff. but they're cock blocking you but they're cock blocking yeah. you yes. cock blocking you from your potential you need man. a group of bad bees true when well, you step into the sea that's what we're doing tonight that's what we're doing tonight yeah, 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 yeah. Only yes, bad. Yes. You need the sexy girls. You know, yeah, there's nothing yeah. like growing up with a group of girls. Yeah. And one man is talking to Mo. One man is talking to Talani. One man is talking to <laughs> like you don't have the True. bad bees. Sexy. Like, I love it. I, and I love I love when you're when my friends are sexy and confident and mm. fun. Like there's no intimidation here. Bring, I need to roll with hot girls. That's, yes. that's nice. I love oh, that. And fun girls. Not the hot girls that stand in the corner. The fun the hot girls that like having girls. Yes. That's the time. Tony is the hot girl that's had a great yeah. time. And I will have fun. Yeah. Okay. And your that's nigga awesome. will come and meet me where I'm having fun. You yeah. your nigga. Why? Why must you make it so personal? Because that's how it always happens in Lagos. Eh? So I'll people, just be so there people, minding my so business. So people leave their babes to come and meet you. Stay there. Oh, oh. I it's not like snatching thing is really a. I know, I know, Taxi, they snatch man. Who? I hope I don't they, they come, come to me. Man gravitates. I'm just here dancing my. They come to me. <laughs> I love it. This I Lagos love is it. very dirty, Sha. So be careful. It's very I dirty. It. I feel be like it's, it's interesting that we call it dirty December because I feel like it's dirty all it's year round. Time. Wasn't it Mr. Easy that coined the name? It was mm. Mr. Easy now. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, yes, yes. Dirty and then December. Nigerians snatched the and name And then we from snatched him. it and it just became a thing. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Mr. Easy. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Mm. So, Madam Joyce. Yeah. Ma- I like that is Madam. Why is it Madam Joyce, actually? Oh, God. Um, 
Madam. Are you, do you guys got time for the story? Because it's a long one. Is it yeah. very long? Yes, we do. We right, have, Madam have came from when I was when I was fifteen. I looked a lot more older. I was a bit more. I was a bit more mature looking. Okay, okay. And I really thought I was a lot older than I was. And there was a there was a girl called um, what's her fucking name? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> There was a girl that I was really close to and she was a lot older than me. She was like 20. And every time she used to see me, she was like, my dad dies, my dad. Like in, obviously in our culture, someone is someone that's like mm-hmm, a, bit, mm-hmm. a bit grown. And I think she's, she used to say to take the piss out of me a little bit because I was so young, but I thought I was a lot older than I thought. Um, You're an old then, soul. Yeah, I am an old soul. And then it just kind of stuck from there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Madam Joyce, MJ, I hope mm-hmm. you want it. I guess you're going to be bringing your Madam vibes to the... That she's in, apparently like there's a thing that Nigerian she's... boys now like older oh, women, Sha. Oh, that's how my dad vibe. You how old you are? I'm 26. 26. Mm, you act your age. You don't act too grown. No. Okay, power. No, you don't act power. too grown. But you do give mature vibes though. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I feel like women generally will be always more mature than men. Mm-hmm. Anyway. You're right. Like you see a 26 year old woman and you want to compare to 26 year old man. No, no. No. He's still on the streets. Yeah. Um, all right, guys, it has been an amazing episode. Shout out to Madam Joyce for gracing us with her presence. Thank you so much for Welcome having me. Welcome to Lagos, Nigeria once again. We really yes. hope that you have a fantastic time. The queen of IJGB. The queen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're welcome. All right. Catch you guys same time next week. Mwah. Love Merry you. Merry Christmas. So. Merry Christmas. Merry and shout Christmas. out to all the IJGBs. And make sure that this December... Can just be a little bit clean. Doesn't have to be totally dirty. Come and dirty yourselves, my <laughs> friend. Let's go. Catch y'all outside. Bye, guys. Period, period, period. <laughs>